Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Minecraft. It's Stix here and we are just taking a fly around our lands that will one day become our medieval district. Now we've got all this land over here, all the dark oakwood um, forests around here. We've got more plains biomes over here. We've got the swamp over there which will probably just go around because the grass color is terrible in a swamp. And yeah, so we've got all, these, all this land around here. We've got land stretching a very long well that's a lot of flowers that is that is a lot of flowers guys and that is a very tall mushroom also but anyways guys we've got all this land to work with so that's fantastic just back over here is our first couple of houses in the medieval district so that's cool today i think we should do some planning uh just to start off not going to do a whole episode of planning that would just be crazy there's a horse down here there's a few horses um, yeah, let's let's do some planning. So I'm gonna get some blocks and make a little uh, thing around here somewhere and Put some signs on some blocks and see what means what so what I mean by that is uh, I did a terrible idea uh, thing of discussing. Oh, we've got to go back and fix our elytra. I forgot about that uh, Like let's say stone bricks will be like the path So I'll put stone bricks and I'll lead them off in a direction like this and that will be where the path will go then I'll use normal stone and that could be where buildings go. So I'll outline some buildings and things like that. And then I'll use another color for like walls and then a, a, something blue maybe to, to show where a river will go. Something like that, guys. So we'll get some, some sort of planning going on and maybe a different color for like mountains or hills that we want to build. We do have a decent amount of terrain around here already, so that's cool. Um, unfortunately, the swamp is here. That's probably the only bad thing about being around here, but we've got all of this land all the way over here to work with, so that's fine. I think we'll be just uh, just fine, guys. Okay, cool. So we got, we got like the beaches out here, and oh, there is a shipwreck right here. We've been flying around here and doing work, and there's a shipwreck right here. I wonder if I've been in this one before. Uh, doesn't look like it. Cool. Let's, let's, let's take a journey into here. It's not really a journey, is it? You know what? I'm so excited to get on with this episode. I've got no idea what I'm talking about. There we go. There's the chest. Um, nothing that interesting in here. Although iron. Iron is very good. We're going to need that iron. Because uh, we might as well grab those as well. We don't need any of this other stuff. Let's just get rid of this chest. There we go. And is there another chest in this corner? Uh, I'm wondering if there's any more in this whole boat. I'm not sure. Maybe down here? Oh, uh, we're gonna have to go searching underwater now, guys. This is a nice little surprise, anyway. Okay, here's a door. That means there's probably something in here. There we go. Oh, it hasn't loaded in yet. And then we got a buried treasure map. You know what, guys? Stuff it. Let's just let's just go and find this right away. Let's see. Um, this is probably one we've been to before. Well, guys, the sad thing is we have definitely come here and got this treasure before. It's right there. Okay, I didn't get rid of the chest. I'm not sure if that makes any difference, but. Uh, let, let's let's get rid of that. Oh, and clay while we're here. Always got to pick up the clay. Clay is very important. And you know what, guys? I've just noticed this isn't me. I, I this this is um, Steve or Alex or one of them. This isn't me. The internet must be down. Ah, that feels better. Alrighty, guys. So here is the plan that I've got so far. So I'm going to do paths with cobblestone, buildings with normal stone, walls with stone bricks. And terrain with the good old granite, because you never find a use for granite. So you know what? I'm going to use it for planning, because why not, guys? So I'm going to take these. I'm probably going to start with some paths and then do some buildings. And I think I'm going to figure out where I want to put the walls. Also, I'm going to load up the map of this place on the internet and have a look at it from above so I can sort of do some planning that way. That might be a good idea. I might put it into a little file and do some planning. That'd be a great idea. That's... Why didn't I think of it before? You know what, guys? Maybe, just maybe, I'm getting smarter. No, that's silly. Don't be, don't be silly. Of course I'm not. Okay, guys, I've just found this fantastic software. This is called Unmind, I believe. Link will be in the description. So this is our Victorian city right here. We've got the town center here. We have um, the little building here. We have the bank here. We have our, uh, there's a bit of a fancy house over here. We have our new houses here. These ones that are getting ripped down currently, we have the theater, we have the slime farm here, and we have that new farmhouse that we've built over here. We have the industrial district over here, so that's looking cool. Um, we have all uh, the the new stuff that we're building over here. There's a lot of snow on this half of the tree. That's crazy. I, I don't know why that's like that. 
maybe this this chunk must have been loaded while we we're working over here uh we have the christmas area over here and guys this might give you an idea of where things are in the world this might help out quite a bit because down here is our new victorian village so if we zoom out let it load back in i'm going to take a picture of this and do some planning because uh right here we can see this is where these are this is where that swamp is we found last episode there is the other swamp over here that we got to be mindful of. We don't want to go anywhere near this. Um, so we've got all of this land down here to muck around with and all of this land over here. And then we'll create a wall here somewhere between these two. But I'm not even sure we'll stretch up into that. I don't know. But we've got a whole lot of desert over here and things. It's quite interesting to look at this to see everything that we've got. Look at this snow biome down here. Oh my goodness, it's huge. That's just crazy. Um, so here we have not loaded any of this area. We've not flown around here or anything A lot of this needs to be deleted out of my world. Some people have been asking for world downloads and um, I can't really do that right now because currently my world is about uh, Seven gigabytes big and nobody wants to be downloading that and I don't want to be Uploading that and like, you know, it's just crazy I need to get it shrunken down all the like random flying arounds so where we haven't done any building needs to get removed but um, the mods that do that, um, currently, they do not work in the current version of Minecraft. Because a lot of things changed. Oh, up here is our original starter house, right there. There's spawn just over here, guys. This is where our iron farms are. You can see they're right there and there. Um, they're not going to work soon, though, I think, in the, in the next update. Anyways, guys, I just thought this was kind of cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little plan together. Alrighty guys, let's walk up the path now and take a look at some of the planning we've done. So we've got a little building here that is marked out by the stone and the paths are marked out by the cobblestone. So the paths are going to come down here, a little path is going to go off in that direction. We're going to come down here, one's going to go off and head around this mountain just a little bit. It heads down to the shoreline, which will link up. These are all going to link up all over the place guys because it's like a little town, village, city thing. And then we're going to have a path that links right around here. It's going to loop right around here and join up with this one up here. And this one joins up with the path that comes down the other side of the mountain. It's not a mountain, is it? The other side of the hill. Hey, I don't want those seeds. You bugger off. There is a lot of animals around here. That's crazy. There's a lot of space for them to spawn, I guess. Um, yeah, and this path comes down here. There'll be like stairs and all sorts of things. We'll sort out the terrain and things like that. We've got a building here. And these two, these paths all like sort of go around here. So yeah, the planning process is actually going quite well so far. So, um, actually, let's take off, and let's see this from up higher. Hopefully this will give us a better idea. Yeah, so we can see that that path comes along here and goes up to here. There'll be a bridge across this river here, and a path heads off in this direction, and a path will come, from that bridge will come along here and down here and onto a straight path, which will head through a gate here, and these stone bricks represent the wall. So these are going to be the city walls, Inside on this side is going to be the inside of the city. There's going to be more of the the rich people and the the big buildings and things These are going to be mostly like houses out here and Yeah, I think that'll look cool. So it, I mean yeah, that that's the plan anyways guys So the wall will come around here and loop around and uh, if we take a look a lot of this town is going to be in the dark forest biome So that's cool. A lot of these trees will be taken down We'll have a different grass color to work with and there's all of this space around here as well to work with so I'm not sure how big we're going to make this thing in the end, but we have a lot of space to extend. Let's just go up and see if we can see this from here. Yeah, so you can see the paths and everything going along, and this is going to be the wall for the city here. So it's good to get a bit of an idea of where we're headed, so we can start building stuff around here. Um, we're going to need to put a few more paths in around here, and that mountain's going to have to go, because that looks disgusting. Disgusting swamp biome. So yeah, out here is going to be all the houses and things, and then we'll have a big gate here. And we'll probably have like a seaside, um, like a port over here and things. I'm not really sure, but we'll figure this all out as we go. Uh, anyway, it's good to get some planning in so we can get some ideas. Ideas. That, that's the word I'm looking for, not ideas. That's not even a word, is it? Um, yeah, uh, I've completely lost my train of thought now, guys. Anyways, that's the idea. Oh, I've just said idea again. This is going terribly. Breathe, sticks. Breathe. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Okay. I was saying it's good to have this all planned out. It gives us some idea of how the city's going to turn out. So we can uh, we can start building some other stuff around here. 
and uh, we can we, we know what we're gonna do we know where what kind of buildings are gonna go out here and what kind of buildings we want in there so these are gonna be cheaper houses they're gonna be smaller uh, this one is this guy is obviously like a harbor master or something I don't know why I built this super big house but it's it's awesome so who knows anyways these houses out here are gonna be a bit smaller and they'll, they'll be more of the farmers so we'll have some farming going on out there and uh, some animals and stuff around and then as we move into the city it'll become more like concrete like there'll be a lot of trees out here and um, stuff like that sorry not concrete it'll be more like stone and cobblestone and things as we move into the city there'll be a lot less green and a lot less nature going on in there okay guys that's good all right guys we're here in the industrial district we need to go in here and pick up some items right uh, i got carrots last time i'm gonna get some potatoes this time and we need some sugar cane. Okay, fantastic. These shulker boxes are full, by the way. If you haven't seen this, this is a shulker box loader system. And everything in here is full of potatoes. And everything in here is full of carrots. And we got wheat over here, but not a lot, to be honest. We got a lot of beetroot, which is kind of annoying because we don't need that. Um, we got quite a few cactus here, which is good. Yeah, anyways, guys, basically, uh, we need to make sure we get a lot of villages bred up and things. Because I'm not sure... What the mechanics are going to be in the next update they keep changing them things are changing around they make things and then everyone complains because like iron farms are broken and stuff so i don't know what they're going to change oh we still got an old one here well i might as well just toss them these carrots then um i think we've been breeding up villages let's check this yeah it looks like quite a few minecarts have gone so what we need to do make sure this is silk touch yes very good give me that guys um, this is not the best design, guys, but I just come here, chuck these carrots in like this. They suck them up, and then they should be breeding. Let's make sure they pick up as much as they can while they're in there. Okay, very cool. And we can place that back. Okay, I'm going to put these carrots back then. So these guys should keep breeding up, um, which is good. We need to get as many villages as we can. And we need to also go down. I just grabbed sugarcane, didn't I? Yes. Wait, was there something else in here? No. Right. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. Let's head down into the villager trading hall, which is down this lovely chute here. And here we are. Fantastic. Okay, we got a lot of villagers around. There's some going around on the rails. This is not the best system ever. Like, this guy is stuck. Okay, there's probably, like, I don't know, some guys stuck at the beginning or something. I'm not sure. Is this? Is there a villager here? What on earth? I mean, we'll just get rid of that cart, I guess. Very strange. Um, anyway, we got a librarian here. One of these sells mending. Yes, it's this guy for 38. So I'm going to do a bunch of trading here, guys, and get a lot of mending books. That is my goal here. Because I'm not sure what's going to happen with the trading. So I want to make sure I get stocked up on mending books because you cannot get them any other way. I think you can find them in treasure chests, like in the end and stuff like that. But um, yeah, the, the best way is to get a villager and trade with them. And the trading's all going to change and everything. So... I'm just going to get prepared while it's easy to get mending now. And uh, yeah, that should be good. Because we've got a bunch of emeralds in here somewhere. Like, that's enough to get us quite a few. And we've got all this paper here. And we've just got sugar cane. So we can get a bunch more paper. We can get uh, three stacks that way. So that's fantastic. I'm going to do a bunch of trading with these guys. Get some more emeralds. Get some mending books. And I'm going to get some more of these villagers and do some trades with them. And what are these idiots doing? Get out of here. And you. See you later. Nobody wants you. Okay. Right, let's do some trading. Alrighty guys, this guy here has given us lots of mending books. I could have got more if they were a little cheaper, but I am sick of trading emeralds with these idiots. Um, I got a few Silk Touch books, so in here we have Silk Touch, which is going to be good. And we have this many mending books, which should do us just fine for quite a while now, so that's good. I just wanted to get mending because it's really hard to get and you can't get it through just normal enchanting. So. That's good. Hopefully the villages, these villages will stay. Um, they're going to change things up, so hopefully it's not too difficult to get mending um, in the next update. Okay, this is all going to have to change eventually anyway, so this project was probably a waste of time. But, you know, still cool. Okay, let's get on to the, the, the meat and gravy of this episode. Alrighty guys, back at the medieval district, we're going to head right over there, and we're going to build a bridge. That, that is the plan. So I'm going to chop down these trees, guys. And, uh, yeah, so the path loops around to here, and then there's going to be a bridge right across this river here. So the river is going to get a makeover. It's going to look much better than this, eventually. But for now, I think we'll just leave this open like that, 
And uh, we'll, um, yeah, let's build a little bridge at about the height that it's at, I think. That'll look cool. Yeah, let's build a bridge across there. All right, I'm going to chop these trees down and get some wood. And we'll start on with this. Uh, we probably don't need that much wood, actually. Mostly going to be, like, stone and cobblestone. Okay, anyways, let's, let's, let's get going. Alrighty, guys, we've got a bit of a start here. I've got the stone slabs on the bottom here. They're looking fancy. So we've got it coming up by uh, half a... Well, it's coming up a slab... Um, a slab's height on each one of these, and we're going across two, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the middle. Fantastic. Now I've just stuck these on the side. Um, I'm not too sure what I want to do about these. Um, I think maybe I'm going to switch these to cobblestone, and we can, um, go about making these... Yeah, we can use, like, cobblestone slabs to make sure these are all the same height, because if I place one here, um, it's going to be the same height as there, and we want this to be taller, so... We can stick a slab there so that these are one and a half high. I think that'll be that'll be cool. I'm gonna switch these to that, and I think what I'm gonna do instead of these stone slabs is maybe switch out a lot of them for like stone brick slabs. I think that'll look uh, much cool. There is a spider around here. There's always mobs around here trying to trying to kill me. It's very annoying. Right, let's make a bunch of these, and I think I'll swap out a lot of these and maybe maybe a few cobblestone as well. Next update, we'll get a lot more slabs, so we could probably make things like this a lot better. But um, actually, I think we're going to switch to mostly the stone bricks here, and then we'll swap all of these out for cobblestone. So let's just take a quick look out from here, I guess. Let's go down this way. Ow, I didn't, did not fly there. That didn't work. Okay, um, yeah, so from up here, there'll be a path coming around here, so we'll be looking at the bridge from here. Yeah, I think that would look quite cool. Okay, so we need to get, like, some stairs under these blocks, I think. And, yeah, that'll, that'll all start to come together. Fantastic. Okay, I, I do like the arc that's in that bridge. It's not too much, and it's not too little. Okay, very good. So that bridge will come across here, and then there'll be the gates over there and everything. But, yeah, we're getting along with this bridge now. Fantastic. Alrighty, guys, bridge is coming together. We have the top on now. Pretty much all of the sides are up like this. I'm just in the process. I just had to go back and get some more cobblestone. Um, we're putting cobblestone in there and there. Fantastic. So we've got these sides here, and I've decided to put these on top. Now, these don't exactly line up. Like right here, we've got one and a half, and then one, one and a half, and then one. And now we've just got one block in that, but there's no other way to do it. And to be honest, it looks fine. I actually kind of like it because the sides are a little bit lower here and then in the middle they're quite high and that all works out the same on this side we got the iron bars in there because i thought that looked pretty medieval i didn't want to start sticking too much wood in here um we've got a little bit of wood on the outside so the first design uh, was this one over here and we had them going down and then having the poles behind that block underneath there but now i've got those pieces of wood coming outwards so we're gonna bring the build out one block like this and have the cobblestone in behind there so I think we need to do something with this here as well, because this looks like it's, um, this is just too much cobblestone all in one spot. But I'll sort that out after I do all this. So this, these were all stairs, but it didn't really work out with the design. So I'm going to go with that now. Yeah, cool. Okay, so I'm going to fill all that cobblestone in, and then I'll have to figure out some way of making this different. Unless we make these, um, hmm, I've changed a lot in this bridge since I've been going. What if we change these? to these and change these to these is that gonna look oh but the floor is is the stone bricks as well hmm i don't know guys well I'll, I'll keep trial and error i gotta fix this side as well okay let's continue on with the bridge this, this bridge is actually taking much longer than i thought it would how's that looking guys we got one side on here now i didn't fill in that gap because i wanted the river to go through that little gap there but i might bring that up another block but it looks it's too square Maybe, let's see if we turn these uh, st these stairs here, oops, around, blah, 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 there they go. Um, let's turn them around that way and place another block here, like that. I mean, that looks okay. It's because it's a two, two block wide. If it was three blocks wide, it would look okay because we could go up and have a little gap in the middle and it wouldn't look so square, but it looks very square like that. Um... Hmm, what happens if we just fill this in, guys? What happens if we just have the river going through the middle there? And we have the water stopping right there. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, no, that's that's not that bad, guys. I like that. Okay, cool. That's one side. I'm going to do the other side, and then we'll start adding details. Right, I've just decided to stick a bit more wood on the outside here. I'm going to stick the rest of these fences along here and see what that looks like. 
Let's see if we can get up here, because we're going to need to jump along. Okay, so, oh, we can't get up there now. But we should be able to put that there. Oh, that's the wrong place. Fantastic. Anyways, guys, I'm going to carry on. Let's see if we make this jump. We can. Fantastic. See you guys in a second. Alrighty, guys, bridge is in. It's looking fantastic. I really like it. So, we can now start adding in detail. I've just started adding in some of the mossy cobblestone and the mossy stone bricks into the path here. Now, we can only do them on every second one because you can't get them in the slab version. So, we've just done them on every second one, but you don't notice too much. I think it's fine. The only problem is on this top level, it's this the bottom slab, so I can't put them up here. But yeah, the, the path is starting to look pretty cool. So I'm just going to start putting in a few more of these. And I think the updated textures of these are even less... Like, this is still quite greeny. Uh, it used to be like a slime green. I'm so glad that's gone. They're so much more usable now. So we can get a bit of that in there. Uh, there is too much going on here. Too much. We just want half a block here, probably, like that. Very good. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to stick a bunch of that on the outside here as well, because this is all pretty bare. But it's looking it's looking nice, guys. I'm liking it. The bridge is in. So um, what I'm going to do now is basically build a path uh, through here. I'm just going to pick up all these blocks now. So I'm just going to build the path out to this path here, because there's going to be a path. As you can see, these cobblestone blocks come along here, and it's going to head off in this direction down to the gate. So I'm just going to bring the path to here, for now, just to about here. Um, and we will pick up that bit of dirt. Come here, friend. Put that back in there. Um, yeah, we will, um, if we look on this side, build a bit of the path as well. So there's a path going off that direction, and there's a path going off that direction. There'll probably be one going off in that direction as well. But for now, I'm going to make a path here. And if we just quickly fly up to where we've built the path already which should be up here. This is where the path comes to so far. Now, as you can see, it's very, like, dirt. There's a lot of dirt, hardly any cobblestone, a bit of wood just for the uh, bits coming up here. And then as we get closer and closer to the big city over there that's going to be within the town walls, um, it will get more... There'll be more cobblestone and more bricks and maybe a few just stone blocks in there. So it'll get... We'll put more and more pieces as we get closer and closer. And as we get over there, it will start to be mostly bricks... So this side will be mostly bricks and a lot less like dirt and things. So yeah, on this side of the bridge where it's all starting to become more like populated and there's going to be the city walls here. So in there is going to be a lot of stone bricks and things and out here is going to be a lot more wood. So that is the plan. Wood and dirt, trees and more of just concrete. Uh, I keep saying concrete. I mean stone bricks. Okay, right. Brain. In in engage brain. Right, okay, now I've got um, some cracked stone bricks as well. And I've got these chiseled stone bricks. I'm wondering if we can fit these in anywhere. Like maybe if we come one block down from there and just put these in. So that would go there, that would go there. Is that going to look cool? Yeah, it does look quite cool actually. So here we could put one, we could put them here I think. There would look cool. And we could put one in the middle one there. Yeah, alright, nice. Nice, nice. Let's start adding these details in and getting these paths built up. Alrighty guys, the details are in. We've got a few paths, just a little bit on either side so we could get a feeling of this and I think it's turned out quite nice. So if we look on the side, there's quite a few path and dirt blocks here. So that's going to get more and more dirt as we head up that way and there'll be more and more stone as you come down this way, obviously, in reverse. So um, when we walk over the bridge here, we will see that there is a lot less dirt over here. And eventually, as we get closer to there, there'll be less and less. So to, to there's just like a, a piece of dirt every now and then. So that the path just looks a little dirty. But it's going to be mostly like cobblestone and stone bricks and things like that. So we've got all the details in here now, guys. I think it's looking cool. we got a few ferns in here. A few bits of grass. I can still hear zombies. I went down there and lit up all the caves. But there must be another one. Damn, zombie freaks. Anyways, uh, we stuck some bushes around and stuff like that. I think that looks really nice on the bridge. And yeah, it's looking fantastic, guys. In, in my opinion, anyway. So I probably shouldn't talk up my own builds too much. But if you don't, who's going to watch your stuff? Anyways, guys, I think that bridge looks really nice here in the landscape and everything. That's really cool. All this is going to get landscaped um, eventually anyway, and it'll look much nicer. But for now, guys, that is all the time we have in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Let's see if we can fly through here. And no, uh, we can't. We must have taken a lot of damage there. See you later.